All right, we're here for the Grizz Volleyball Weekly Press Conference with head coach Allison Lawrence, senior outside hitter Maddie Kramer. Coach, we're going to start with you. The split weekend behind you, starting 0-2 in Big Sky play, but a chance on the road against a couple of, of good teams in Weber State and Idaho State. So kind of your thoughts on the opening weekend and how you move into this road trip. Yeah, tough weekend for sure. Um, I thought there were a lot of bright spots. I think a lot of things from the match on Thursday we will use um, in coming weeks, obviously, but want to apply right away. And I think found a lot of growth in that loss. I think Saturday's match um, was frustrating. I think we got in our own way a lot. So I think what we pull from that will, will I think, add a lot of urgency to our training this week. But um, yeah, our four match start is a tough one for sure with just home and away things, but also um, just the level of teams. And Idaho State's hot uh, with their weekend, and then Weber's always solid. So I'm looking forward to it. I think if we can grapple with these things now, um, what we've done in the past is always, at the very latest, reached the middle of Big Sky play and then seen a huge uptick um, and really started the second half um, at a whole new level just because of how we've learned and grown and so I'm hoping that learn learning phase can happen soon and we can have our breakout matches way earlier than that and I think we're ready the team is hungry to do that so I'm excited yeah. Maddie to you two good defensive teams Idaho State in particular leads the country in blocks so what's the key for the offense this weekend going uh, on the road um, I think just staying aggressive I think we're such a good aggressive team um, especially like when we make mistakes we just come back with more aggression and I think um, we're really good at like seeing the block hitting around it and using the block so I think continuing to do that against teams like Idaho State who have like a really solid block is going to be the key for sure. Coach now that it's in the rearview mirror does how hard is it to prep for the split weekends where it's one home one away I don't know if there's any rhythm that you notice throughout the year like how hard is it when that's kind of how you kickstart conference play yeah it's a little bit funky I mean it's funky for Portland State too there's some travel there's some split weekends where the away team beats the home team back to their gym um, which isn't a great thing either um, so I think there's disadvantages whether you're, you're the home or away team um, but we have just been on the road so much. I think that it didn't feel really any different. It's just, I mean, this week we're going into our fifth week in a row on the road. And so I think we're used to it and it's fine and we're definitely tough enough to handle it. But I think some weariness just with that, um, maybe not set in, but you have to battle and, and contend with a little bit. But um, I mean, that's how our conference is. Everybody's doing it. So I think we're tough enough to handle little wrinkles like that. When you look back at that Thursday game against Northern Colorado, yeah. one of the better teams just in the conference usually, just uh, what, what positives do you take from that, knowing you guys were kind of right there with them, especially the kind of comeback in the third set, and what do you take away from that game? Yeah, so many positives. I think um, I just think our team is strongest when we are all doing our jobs, which I think goes without saying, but I think we are when we are balanced offensively, um, and also just balanced in our efforts to where everybody is executing the details from the scout from their role. I think as a unit, we are a very hard unit to break down and pick apart and overcome. When we are individual and when we're having only individual performances stand out, I think um, that's not enough for us to beat teams, especially beat teams at the top of our conference. So that's the challenge for us is how do we consistently as a starting group, whoever's on the court, whoever's coming off the bench, perform um, and not rely on one or two players to um, get us through those inconsistent moments. I think that's what our challenge is. So we reset, we got to train that way, and we all have to own our part in that. So um, I thought we did that really well to your question against UNC, and it just showed, I think, what we're capable of when our unit is performing really well together. And Maddie, for you, just kind of what did you? What were your biggest takeaways from the first two games? What were the differences between those first two games as you start a conference play? Um, definitely UNC. It was just like bittersweet. Like we wanted it so bad, and we kind of saw glimpses of us taking it from them. And obviously, we couldn't do it in the end. But I think just seeing so much potential in both those games, and I think taking so much away from what we need to work on in conference from both those games, especially Portland. Like um, what Ali was saying about when we play together like we cannot be stopped but when we have individual performances off and on then that's when we kind of um, start to lose it a little bit. 
when you have kind of the Portland State game where it's like a tough road trip, but you get to you know get ready for another road trip. What do you guys against two good teams too? Just what's maybe the biggest takeaways? How do you use some of that momentum and learning lessons from this this first week? Um, <clears throat> I think just going into practice and attacking what we need to focus on, um, and also just knowing that we are good on the road and um, we've played on the road more this season than we have in our own gym, and kind of using that to our advantage and just like knowing that they're in their home gym, they're going to play their best and like respecting them for that and then just attacking them with everything that we have. Allison, I know everyone always wants to get off to a, a good start when you're starting the season, so kind of totally. like what's the message as far as just uh, maybe not getting out where you want it results-wise? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's tough. I mean, momentum is such a big thing early in conference, and so we're disappointed. But I also think, um, to Maddie's point, like, we're comfortable being uncomfortable. We're comfortable being the away team. We're comfortable with our backs against the wall. We're comfortable being underdogs. And I think um, in our conference, at any moment, any team can upset anybody. So I think the message is just it, it, any night can be our night where we go, where we have a streak, where we have a win, where we just um, kind of come into our own. So I think that's the message is just to trust the process. Um, and you never know when like it's going to be our time to find our rhythm and be consistent. And so we keep fighting for it and we keep resetting. And I think that's kind of like life. You just keep going. And in the end, the, the narrative surrounding that doesn't matter. You just have to um, keep working and keep getting better um, and then trusting that it's going to be enough in the end when it, when it matters at the end of season. I know you'll be able to answer this better in like a month, but <laughs> overall, like your thoughts on the conference as a whole. Yeah, I think it's feels like recognizable big sky that it's kind of wild. Um, I think Idaho State, you know, upset um, UNC last year too. I think they've kind of have their scout or their number, or whatever it is, and got them at home. But I think a lot of teams are vying for splits and upsets and things where I think there's going to be a lot of ties um, and a lot of like similar records with a lot of splits heading into the last two weeks. And I, that's one of the reasons I love our conference and one of the we reasons you're stressed all the way to the end because you just never know. Um, so I think it'll continue to play out that way. And it looks like we have teams that home and away maybe are very different um, in terms of how they're performing stat wise. So I think that might come into play too. But like you said, no way more in a month. Coach, seems like one area the team has found success is uh, being able to get quite a few aces in the past mm -hmm. few games at the service line and all that. Uh, talk about the importance of finding success there and uh, what you guys, how you guys excel at that part. Yeah, I think that's a mentality. I mean, you train serving, and um, there's only so much game-like pressure you can put on serving in practice. So it's up to the players in the match to be in their highest gear and their most aggressive gear from the service line. I think we have a lot of arms that um, just are consistent, have a s consistent strike on the ball. But I think you're right that we put a lot of movement on the ball and can play with depth and do some really fun things. I think s when you've just served a certain volume of volleyballs in your life, like you just kind of know how to make the ball move. And I think we have older players serving, so I think that's helpful. Um, and players that are just going for it. So I think that's it's just the mentality of our team. It's been part of our identity the last couple years. Um, and like Maddie said, we're just very aggressive. So we want to be that from the service line as well.